the very first type of inoculation that we're going to learn are uh, tube to tube transfers. All right, so we're going to inoculate, which you should know means that we're going to introduce a small amount of live bacteria to a uh, sterile uh, medium. Right? And our tubes, for the most part, are going to come in two forms our slant, which is agar in a tube slanted, and our broth, which is liquid medium. Right, so we should know these already. We've seen these. What we're going to do is we're going to introduce a small amount of bacteria to each of these with the idea that they're going to grow up into a culture, right? Population of live, actively growing microbes. Keeping in mind some of the principles we learned about aseptic technique, open only when necessary, work near the flame, make sure that the bench has been cleaned, make sure that we are clean, make sure that our tools are sterile, okay? So let's start off with a... Uh, broth inoculation. Right? So this is my sample broth culture. Notice where it's been it's been labeled. All right, so we have our, oh, there we go, you can see that better. So that's our broth culture. I label it. You should also put your initials on here. Maybe I'll add that in there. We'll add our initials, the date, lap section if necessary, whatever else you need. And that's our broth. Now make sure, of course, we don't tip our broth anywhere more than 30 degrees either way because these lids are not watertight things will leak out of there this is sterile not a huge deal but if this has bacteria growing in it well that becomes a huge deal um, broth culture when I have bacteria growing on here you're gonna see the bacteria will be floating right but we want to make sure that we have a nice even mix of bacteria so when we mix our broth culture this is how we mix in your hand like this and then you do this for about 10 seconds and this will give you a nice mix uh, and has a couple of implications. One, there's zero spillage, right? So when the, especially when the liquid's real high, if we shake like this, it can leak out and over. And again, this is sterile, so it's not a huge deal, but if this were to contain bacteria, well, that would be a big deal, right? So this, this is how we spill. It's safe, effective, and no chance of spilling, okay? So we mix our broth culture, then we sterilize our tool, like we've seen before, nice and hot. I like to get the whole wire, let it cool. And then while I'm cooling, I wanna take stock of what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take some of this broth culture and transfer it or inoculate a sterile broth culture, or sorry, broth medium, which is gonna be right there, which you can't see because I'm using the same one just for demo purposes, okay? Demo purposes. So, in order to take the cap off, now about 10 seconds, my loop should be nice and cool. Finger on the lid, twist and turn, open up your tube near the flame area, dip it in your broth culture, flame, oops, I think I forgot to flame it the first time, close and put away. And then now I'm going to grab my sterile broth, my sterile TSB, and again. Grip it with the pinky, twist and turn, flame. Insert, a little bit of a shake. Flame, close, sterilize, put away. And that's done, right? So now we have a very nice inoculated broth. And by tomorrow, that'll grow up to be a very heavily populated broth culture. To do a slant, it's similar. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up, we're going to take our inoculum or that small amount of live bacteria and transfer it to our slant. A right? couple of things different now. Uh, when we grab the inoculum, we need to make sure that we touch it down onto the agar. So again, twist and turn, flame. And then for this, just touch it down like this. Let's see, we're going to get nice and close. Just touch it and that's done. Okay, so no need to pull and drag, don't dig, just touch. That's all we want to do. And we pull out, flame, close. All right, now I'm going to grab my sterile slant. Twist and pull, flame. Now we let the weighted loop do the work, touch the bottom of the slant, and then cover the slant. Just like that flame, put away, and sterilize. And that's it. That's how we inoculate a sterile broth and a sterile slant. Notice, by the way, 
everything was done near the flame so whenever I open my tubes I always open it near the flame and my loop never went from the flame area so when I inoculate I inoculate here even when I'm grabbing things my loop stays near the flame so no grabbing like this no reaching away my loop doesn't leave the flame area because again our safe zone